Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for this month, Catching Up on K-pop. So, I'm pretty sure you can hear the fan from my computer. I'm sorry about that. There's just something today that's not just right. I don't know. There's something icky about today. I don't know why, but I'm still gonna go through with the filming and hope for the best. I gotta say also that I noticed in the monitor... When I tell you something's icky about today, I feel it. Right, as I was saying before being being interrupted by my lovely neighbors, uh, <laughs> that I have very like awkward highlights at the moment. Like I went to the hair salon like a few days ago and asked for like lighter highlights, and it looks weird on camera. Like the camera picks up the color differently than in real life. It doesn't look that chunky in real life, to be fair, but. See on camera how it works? I don't know, I just... It bugged me out, so I wanted to mention it. Uh, anyways, you guys are not here for this. So, catching up on K-pop, uh, I asked you a uh, while back to vote for the music video you wanted me to react to the most in a poll over on Patreon. So, if you guys want to do that, you know, participate in the whole voting process and everything, it will be available for the second and third tier on my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. And by the way, for those who don't know, for the second and third tier, you will have an early access to the, the catching up on K-pop. So, basically, you will have the videos a week earlier than on YouTube. Does that make sense? So, yeah. The lineup for today and tomorrow uh, consists of Golden Child, Hot Issue, Yongjae, Toyuri, AB6, Elast, ATs, and Pixie. Some of you guys were really adamant about me reacting to Pixie, so I'm really glad it made it into the final lineup. Also, as always, just to ease some of you guys, I do watch the music videos that didn't make it into the final lineup, you know? So, no worries about this. You know, I still get from time to time comments like, why don't you react to this? Why don't you react to that? And I don't mean to repeat myself, you guys already know this, but I'm simply a human, you know? Unlike some other people, I do not have the energy to film like seven days a week, especially at the moment, not gonna lie. I've been kind of like in a slump, like, K-pop still excites me, but you know how sometimes you just do not have the energy or the motivation to just get up in the morning. Like It's been really, really hard uh, these past few weeks. I've just been really down and have been feeling quite unmotivated. I know that most of you guys mean well when you ask me to react to something because you don't want me to miss out on something. I definitely get it. It's just that it doesn't really help to receive this type of comments because like, I want to do my best. I want to give you what you guys want, but at the same time, I have to prioritize my own health at the moment and I don't want to push myself to the point where I would break, you know? And I've been there, I've done that. It's not fun. <laughs> so I just wanted to say that I always appreciate any type of like suggestion and requests and everything. I even ask you for that, but it's kind of like I have to limit uh, those requests and stuff. So. As I always say, I still am a K-pop fan off camera, so don't worry about this. I will be checking the remaining music videos and stuff. So yeah, that said, let's get into the whole reaction part of the video. So I think today I'm going to be doing uh, Golden Child, Hot Issue, Yongde, and Toyuri, so that we have like a more balanced lineup. And then tomorrow's video, we'll have AB6, LS to 80s, and Pixie. Yeah, right. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna check golden chat first Tara? Tara. doesn't it like mean sweet or something when something is sweet now now also correct me if i'm wrong but this might be their last comeback before one of the member gets enlisted in the military or something like that i know that senior is the bigger brother so what's the name of that <laughs> oh my god uh golden child members they are Okay, they are. I don't know if I'm mistaking it for like another group, but like I feel like I remember reading comments saying that uh, he might be enlisted, en en enlisting soon. So this might be his last comeback before that. Anyways, I count on you guys to let me know if this is correct or not. So, ta da! I have the English captions on. Let's go. Ta -da. What's the concept? Dandy classy men? Go. 
sorry, I feel like my brain is recognizing this as like this feel familiar and different at the same time oh I can't tell if they're fighting or flirting <laughs> in black and white with this blue color reminds me of beautiful of MX every time the members the, the two rappers have their part I feel like I'm always Reminded that they're freaking amazing. Mm. I do not understand the concept. You know, this part with the legs is giving me the male version of that dance from Sistar in Alone. Oh, he looks great. I mean, they look great. So this is a gentleman's club. Oh! What did they ever do to you? <laughs> I told you something felt off today. I just, you know, there are just moments where you just feel that today's not going to be the day. And yet I chose to film on this day, knowing that something felt off. I went against my instinct and uh, isn't turning too great at the moment. I feel like I couldn't completely absorb the song and the music video because I couldn't make sense of what was going on. Like I somehow feel like if the music video had a different concept or like the, the directing was done differently, I would have liked it a little bit more. Basically where I'm at right now is I feel like I'm going to like the song. At the moment I am at a state where I can say I enjoyed it, but I still feel completely confused by what just happened. Does that make sense? Because then again, like I said, a part of me felt like the song was very familiar. Like there were parts of the song that felt very much Golden Child. I can't explain it, but you know, they have that, that the signature sound. But then again, all the moments I was like, this is so different. Or then again, it could be because I'm not like that familiar with them. So, so when I say different is based on my own experience with them, you know? And so there, there was that, but also the music video, 
I don't get it. I guess visually speaking, I just did not understand what concept they wanted to portray. I mean, when I say they, I'm not saying the members or whatever, I'm just questioning this whole thing. Like, what does the music video mean? Does it mean anything? I'm not saying, <laughs> listen, I'm not saying that the music video has to mean something or has to have like a signification or whatever. A music video certainly does not have to have any meaning, but somehow I feel like there was something here, but I just couldn't grab it. Does that make sense? I would say that there must have been some type of maybe connection to their past music videos. I'm just taking a wide guess. I seriously don't know. And I don't want to make this me being confused into the reason why I didn't enjoy the music video, but like it could definitely just be my mood today where I just cannot connect with a music video. There are moments like this, I'm not gonna lie to you. There are moments where I just cannot feel a connection. I just do not click with something because of how I feel that very day. So like my initial reaction to a music video might substantially change based on my mood that day and how I feel. So so like I always tell you, take what I say with a grain of salt. Do not take my uh, initial, you know, reaction and commentary to a music video as like my last words, you know, or like my uh, forged opinion on something because it might just likely change like in two days, who knows? But I'd rather just be honest with you guys right now. I did not click with this. I feel like I could not connect with the song entirely because of the music video. Like the song in itself, I enjoyed it, like I said, but the music video felt like I, I felt disconnected to it in some way. Obviously I will give it another try to see how I feel about it under different circumstances. All right, so I'm not gonna dwell too much on it because I seriously cannot add anything else right now since I don't feel that connection, you know? So I'm just gonna move on to hot issue now. So from what I've heard from you guys, you know, I read the comments and stuff, a lot of you guys requested that to me saying that this is like one of the best releases this year and how this is the best song and everything and any slaps and stuff so i had like a lot of feedback from this song from you guys which kind of makes me excited for this not gonna lie like you guys kind of like set the bar a little bit high right now um so i do have expectations though i'm gonna try you know to remain neutral so that i don't get disappointed or whatever i don't want to put this in onto you guys if that makes sense so, <laughs> so again, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first comeback. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I have the English captions on, icons. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a whim and say just I'm gonna love this. I thought I'd have this type of confidence because mm -mm. Just gotta say, having icons as a combat song, first combat song, it's fucking ballsy. Oh shit. <laughs> Let me put the volume a little bit higher because that shit stabs. I think what I said the first time is that it was like definitely more performance based. I like the vocals here. I'm gonna have to listen to this with earphones on and I blast it. Oh. 
So, so you guys did set the expectation quite high for this one, but um, you didn't miss. I mean, they didn't miss, certainly not. I trust you a lot when it comes to like recommendations and stuff. Like a lot of times you guys come through with the suggestions. I'm not gonna lie. By now, I'm sure that you guys know what I love, what I like. And so I guess that you just, you just knew I would gonna like it, right? I mean, I don't think it's gonna be a surprise if I just say I loved it. This might just be one of the best chorus this year. I know this is big of me to say this because we've had incredible songs. Like, it's funny how some people say that this year has been uh, felt has felt a little bit lackluster in terms of music and everything. I actually feel like this year has been uh, very experimental in a lot of ways. And so I'm going on a quick tangent right here, but like, I feel like this year, unlike some of the past years, we have seen hits and songs that you know made it big that most of us wouldn't have necessarily seen coming if that makes sense like i feel i feel like this year has been unpredictable when it comes to music and songs that make it big unlike some of the past years you know i feel like this year specifically has been very unpredictable when it comes to hit songs and everything and, and so yeah i wouldn't say that this year has been lackluster in terms of good music or what what do you even consider being good, good music i feel like it just is really just based on your personal taste and stuff but like to me, it hasn't felt lackluster, it has felt more unexpected and just unpredictable, like I said. Also, I guess the way I see it right now, it's not to totally fair to compare like the uh, releases of a year to an the past year, like, you know, trends change and everything, so it's hard to, to compare. So anyways, I'm just gonna end this um, tangent here and go back to this. This might just be one of my favorite choruses of the year. I feel like this song has the same power all throughout. <sighs> how should I explain it? I don't know why I keep thinking that I need to explain how my brain works, but I feel the need to do it right now. Most of the time I receive things in layers. So I have like the layer of music, you know, melody, vocals, rap and everything. That. Then I have the music video, obviously. I have, you know, the performance, the outfits, the solo shots and everything, the camera work, if I can take that into consideration, lighting, sets, stuff like this, you know, that. And then I have the lyrics, obviously, the lyrics, which, does it have a meaning? Does it, what is it trying, what is it trying to convey? Stuff like this. And lastly, to wrap this all up, I feel like I have, I'm taking into consideration the uh, overall concept, like what point are they trying to come across and stuff like this, you know, like, what is their concept? So that's mostly how I receive a music video. And I feel like this one, on each layers that I, you know, mentioned before, all of them were on the same vibration. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, I know it sounds weird, but like, from the melody to the lyrics to the, to the girls, you know, portraying this concept, to the delivery and everything, everything was so much on in sync, I think that's it. Everything was so much in sync that it almost come close to perfection in a way because everything is so in sync. Like nowhere in the song, nor the music video did it feel like the song overpowered the, the performance or the performance overpowered the melody or the vocals and everything. You know what I mean? Everything was set on 100% and so the result can only be 100%. I also gotta say that I really, really enjoyed their vocals in here. I, I mean, I remember briefly what I said in my reaction to Ratata, and I think I said something along the lines that somehow they were more uh, focused on the performance aspect of it, which I feel like here too, but this music video has so much more consistency, if that makes sense. It has so much more element 
that makes it interesting to watch and so it's not just about the performance it's about the solo shots it's about the sets it's about the effects it's so much more than their debut song even the music video looks so much more high budget like a lot more thoughts have been put into it i love how each of the girls have their own panels which is something that i really like by the way because only then am i able to kind of like you know see each girl for who they are individually because obviously i'm not like familiar with them so if i get to see them in oh my god there's a member that looks like handong from dreamcatcher no dude even the dance is freaking cool i mean it's definitely like tiktok uh friendly i'd say <laughs> it fits this type of uh format but then again I feel like choreographers nowadays have to take that into consideration anyways and I suppose it would be like a missed opportunity if they didn't do it. I just think it's like super cool, you know, they're like pointing fingers and like just doing stuff like this. Like don't people say like you have like broad shoulders or whatever when you're confident or whatever. I, I don't know, I just feel like to come back with a song like this saying we aim to be number one. My presence glows in all. Like, my presence break the rules. I'm freaking impressed. Also not good like this is kind of like making me rethink my top five. I mean, I don't know why I feel the need to have like a top five because like I don't need it. I can just simply appreciate all of the rookie groups out there. But I definitely had like a <laughs> very secure top five. Technically in the award shows and stuff, there's only one rookie group, like rookie group of the year. I honestly cannot Pick one. Like there are so many amazing rookie groups this year that <laughs> it's it's seriously unthinkable. Like you're telling me that Adolf, uh, Espa, Stacy, uh, Purple Kiss, Tribe, Heart Issue, and so much more. You're telling me that you're gonna have to pick one group out of the bunch out there. It's impossible. If I don't take into consideration, you know, like the album sales and stuff, I, I'm just, if I just take into consideration my likings, I'm not going to be able to pick one. I don't know what you guys think of uh, of this, who your rookie group of the year is in terms of like girl group so far, but like, it's gonna be a tough one this year. Seriously, I've been rambling for way too long. So let's go to Yongjae now. So Yongjae is, that's his, a solo song, isn't it? Like as a solo artist, and un not under JYP. He's not under JYP. No, no, no. But anyways, this is called Vibin. I have the English captions on. Let's go. Ooh. Come and get it. <laughs> oh. Do you think Bam Bam has this type of hair at some point? His voice was something that was so recognizable in God's Heaven song. that I somehow could hear God7 do this song even though it's not. I wouldn't imagine God7 doing this song, but I, could, I can hear them sing that. Yeah, talk all night, huh? Mm -hmm. Sure. There's just something so satisfying about seeing just 
male artists dancing with female dancer. I'm not saying that this is revolutionary, it's just something that we should normalize. I just thought of it, but like Youngjae had a car in his music video, JB as well. Youngjae has one. I mean, Jackson probably had one in one of his music videos. I think this song has probably the best title possible because like this whole song was just vibes. <laughs> it just gives you the good vibes. It's definitely one of those songs where you cannot help but bop along to. I feel very strongly about this, but I do believe that there are songs out there which you cannot hate. And this is one of them. <laughs> like what's there not to like about this? Is basically my question. It's a feel-good song. It's like a very comforting song almost because like I said, it makes you feel good. And not gonna lie, I kind of need this right now. So it's really, really welcomed. I don't know if it's because I'm already familiar with him and his voice and everything that it felt warm almost. Like it has a very welcoming vibe almost. And maybe that's why it felt very warm. I don't know. Or maybe it's because of the melody that just was so freaking catchy. And thus it made me feel good. And thus it feels warm. I don't know. It warmed my heart for weird reason. I don't know. So like his album is called Colors. And I wish maybe we could have seen more in the music video. I'm just nitpicking right now, really. Like, I, <laughs> I guess I'm trying to like, find something more to add to this because otherwise I would just leave it as it's a feel good song, it made me feel good and I think it's going to be hard to find someone who hates it. I guess the only complaint that I have and then again it's like a big word. I guess I wished we could have seen more colors. I guess I'm not such a fan of like the, the rusty type of sets uh, in the middle of the music video. I liked seeing the couch dance though. Then again anytime you include a, a prop in a dance or whatever and you use it to spice up your performance, I love it. I don't know why Yongjae in this music video kind of gives me the vibes of that he is like a PR or something. Not PR, PI? Yeah, private investigator. I don't know why. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up here and move on to Toyuri now. So she was actually the one who was most voted for uh, on uh, Patreon, I'm not surprised. I reacted to Inbi uh, when she ha dropped her solo work and now Yuri has her solo work. I've seen like m multiple things about maybe Eyes One, some of the members like coming back together to form like a, a group or whatever. Like I'm sure that there are discussions behind the scenes that we do not know of and everything. And like I'm sure that most of us would love to see them, you know, reunite at some point not necessarily under the name of eyes one or whatever it's the same thing with x1 you know like it's like the disbanded we knew that it would happen at some point uh obviously both are have been done under different circumstances but like within ourselves we all wished to see them you know come together again and even now every time we get to see interactions or like them doing tiktok challenges together and everything it just warms our heart. I don't know, I just feel like I'm always going to be attached to the idea of Eyes One being Eyes One again, you know, but I'm also very happy to see the members embrace their solo work and solo career, you know, like I know that most of the girls are active in the industry one way or another, Won Young just became an, like an MC and stuff, so I like seeing that, it's just that I will always be attached to the idea of Eyes One, you know, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, this is called Glassy. I have the English captions on. Let's go. 
I'm gonna try to say, no, I'm gonna try. Oh. Ice cream cake. Cinderella, huh? I already used like a fairy tale phone B last time, so. Oh! Wait, it just hit me. Yuri means means glass, no? So she used the significant, the meaning of her name for this. No? I gotta say it, but like the aesthetic of the whole music video, the colors, the sets, and everything reminds me so much of Eyes One. Like, I don't know if they use the same director or whatever, but like... Oh my gosh, she's stunning. It's just how majestic and aesthetic the whole thing is. Yo! <laughs> so we didn't get to see her wear the actual glass shoes? Or did I miss it? She didn't get we didn't get to see her wear the shoes, right? Well, whatever. I I think I remember reading that Yuri means glass or something. Glassy. So I, I could talk. You know what? Let me just check this, because um Yeah, Yuri means glass. So the fact that she debuted with a song called Glassy is that's a freaking like brain move right there. That's freaking cool. I love, you know, little details like this. This is hers and no one else because this is her name. I mean, I know that all the people call Yuri in, in Korea, but I'm just saying, since this is her song, her debut song as a solo artist, it makes it even more special, if that makes sense. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna say almost the same thing as I did for Envy, but like this concept fits her to a T. I think this concept fits her personality her artistry and her as an, yeah, an, an artist. So it was elegant, sophisticated, but also a little bit cheeky. And I think the music video portrayed those sides of her really, really well. Like many of you guys pointed out last time already with Inbi's music video that some of the sets were reminiscent of Eyes One's music video. And I don't, I don't necessarily feel like this reminds me of any of Eyes One music video, but like the aesthetic of this, like the colors and everything, there's just something. Oh, sorry. Now that I think of it, when the clouds are reminiscent of 
Secret Story of the Swan. But like the red chairs at the end reminds me of, you know, Lavion Rose. So perhaps there has been some, you know, little, little throwbacks to her Eyes One Days. I wonder, I wonder, or maybe I'm just seeing things where I want to see things, you know? It is probably most likely the case right now. But yeah, like I said, I just feel like this aesthetic more specifically screams Eyes One. Then again, it could just be me seeing things where I want to see it, but I don't know. I, it felt again like with with Young Day, you know, it felt very familiar. The song, the song didn't feel familiar, but the the music video did. And I realized that me saying this contradict what I say when I say that I like having a music video that it feels unexpected and surprised me. It's like I'm weird, you know. I can I can go from one to the other very quickly. So I enjoy both. I guess it says a lot about me, but like. I like being surprised and feel like I'm discovering something new and I love this feeling of being confronted with something that feels unexpected. I love this feeling because it's something that gets uh, more and more rare as time goes by, I feel like. But also I love this feeling of safety and familiarity when uh, watching a music video because that way I know that I'm not going to be um, put out of my comfort zone of if that even makes sense. It's just like this feeling of familiarity feels very safe and I enjoy feeling safe more than anything, honestly. So I enjoy both of these feelings, you know, so this one falls into the second category, like I said, where I feel very familiar with this and I enjoy feeling safe, if that makes sense. I'm not saying that the song felt safe or whatever, I'm just saying that this made me feel great in a way. Anyway, so oh, this has gone on for a while already, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. Uh, I will be reacting to AB6, LS to 80s and Pixie in tomorrow's video. So I hope you guys look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.